Hi guys, welcome back to LMLM Crochet. Um, I, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little lemon slice. Enjoy! So to make this lemon slice you're going to need um, your yarn hook uh, that corresponds to the side of the yarn you're using or in my case I'm using um, yarn, so I've got my yellow and my white. I'm using yarn that um, requires a, a slightly larger hook but with amigurumi if you want tighter stitches it's always a good tip to use uh, a slightly smaller hook. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. I've also got my yarn needle in my hand here for sewing up and my scissors. So let's begin with the yellow yarn. Put them to one side until we need them. Uh, begin with your yellow yarn and you're going to do a magic ring. So um, as I always say, I have a video, a tutorial that goes into more detail on how to do this. If you're still struggling, it is a tricky one to get right, but once you get it, it's one of those things that you just um, you just know then once you've got it. So it is worth practicing. So I'll show you briefly now for people who are secure, but just need a quick reminder. Otherwise, if you need a full on tutorial, please check out my other video. So we're going to start by wrapping the yarn around our forefinger like this and creating a kind of X there. You're then going to pick up this part of the yarn and pull it over the top, the other part, and then hold it down with your thumb here just so it's secure. You're gonna pull up this part of the yarn here and it's gonna make a loop and you're just going to put your crochet hook into that loop and then here just position my two fingers to pull that tight and then I'm going to wrap some of this yarn around my hook and pull through that space there and just take your finger out there and you've got your ring. So we're going to make six single crochet into that ring. So uh, hook goes in, pull up a loop and pull through. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, then you just take this tail here and you pull on it like that and you can see that this part closes up, which is very satisfying I have to say. Even now, since I've done um, the magic ring thousands of times probably it's still satisfying so then you're just going to go into the first because we're working in the round whenever you do a magic ring you tend to work in the round you're just going to go straight in you're not going to slip stitch or anything you're just going to go straight in with your single crochets so this round is going to be a complete increase round so it means we're doing two single crochet us terminology there into every single stitch around so there's one and two in the same stitch there Three and four are going to be in the same stitch. Five and six in the same stitch. Seven and eight in the same stitch. Nine and ten. And eleven and twelve. And then I just tend to, at this point, a little hole appears in the middle of the, not always, but sometimes in the middle of the magic ring, so I just pull my tail again and that disappears again. All right, this round we're going to do another increase round. We're gonna make 12 into 18. So what you're going to do is you're going to do an increase in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the following stitch. Increase one, increase one, all the way around so you have 18, okay? So that means I start with two in the first stitch, one, two, then one on its own, one, two, one on its own, all the way around until we have a stitch count of 18. Okay, so that's 18 stitches. The next round is going to be increase again and I'm going to bring my stitch count up to 24, which means I need to do single crochet, um, two, sorry, increase in the first stitch, so that's two single crochet, one, two, then single crochet alone in the next stitch, and single crochet alone in the next stitch. So that means increase one on its own, next one on its own, increase two on their own, increase two on their own, increase two on their own, all the way around until you have 24. 
Okay, so I've actually just um, got up to 23 stitches because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add your, uh, your white colour yarn in. Oh, mine's slightly creamy, but you get the point. Um, so you just go into the next stitch as you normally would. Uh, only you're going to stop at this stage when you have the two loops in your hook. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the um, tail from the white yarn and you're just going to hold it in your between your back two fingers here along with the yellow you're just going to hold securely there at the back and then at the front this is now going to become your working yarn the white yarn so you're going to hold it in your hand like that as you would the um your working yarn and you're going to yarn over using the white yarn and you're going to pull it through the yellow so what you've done there is you've finished off your single crochet with the white and that's a really good way of joining your yarn okay so now we're working with the white we're going to do another increase round okay so we're going to do two single crochet in the first stitch as we have been so an increase stitch one two and as you can see I've I've let go at the back now of those two pieces of yarn because they're secure and I can um, I'm gonna leave my yellow attached actually because I'll need to rejoin that again for the final outline side you can see here on this coaster um, so increase in the first stitch and then I'm going to do one, two and three single crochet on their own, okay? Then an increase again, then one, two, three, then an increase again, then one, two, three, all the way around until you have a stitch count of 30, okay? So again, I'm not going to finish my final stitch here, so I've got my, my hook through, I'm going to pull through pull through the yarn and I've got the two white loops on my hook. This is my 30th stitch by the way. And I'm going to let go of my white yarn now and I'm going to bring the yellow yarn back to, and it's already attached to the back because we didn't snip it off. If you did, you just you do the same thing. You just hold it between your two back fingers there. But I don't need to do that. I just need to put it back on my hand as, as my working yarn. Might need to pull the white tight in case the stitch comes up. Otherwise, just finish that stitch with your yellow. Right, next thing is to um, do another, your final increase round, in fact, in the yellow. So we're going to get 30 up to 36. And the way to do that is to do an increase in the first stitch. One, two, single crochet in the same stitch. And then in the next four stitches, we're going to do one single crochet alone. So that was two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so you're gonna do that all the way around. So you're gonna do increase, then one, two, three, four stitches on their own until you have a stitch count of 36. And I'll see you back when you've done that. Once you've finished, uh, it should look a little something like this. You've got 36 stitches. Just to um, close off that round and kind of we're finished with the um, main part of the lemon now. I'm just going to slip stitch into the next stitch there. And I'm just going to pull up a long loop. We will need to reattach the hook again in a second to close up the slice. But just for the next bit, I'm just going to leave that there so it doesn't come out. So what we need to do now is we need to create the um, the white sort of segments on the front of the lemon. And the way you do that is just by um, sewing on. So you need to get your yarn needle and you need to use the, the white yarn to do this, which means you will need to snip it off in order to use it. I'm just going to snip off a length of white yarn now, probably more than is needed just so there's nothing less than kind of running out of yarn so I'm gonna I'm gonna be generous with the amount that I cut off and then I'm gonna attach that to my yarn, ne yarn needle and all that we're gonna do now is we're gonna create those kind of segments that you have on the um, on the front of the lemon so the way I'm gonna do that is and it's and it's up to you really if you've got a, another way that you'd like to do it but the way I suggest you do it is to put your your yarn needle through the center of that magic ring. Just pull it through, leave a, a long tail at the back just for security, safety. And then the first place I'm gonna go to to create a segment is 
just here. Do you see where the yarn joins and it's not quite neat? I'm actually just going to go over that just so that's hidden. Just be careful not to get this part trapped in because we're going to need to use that in a second. And there's the first part of the segment. Then I'm going to come out and where we've done those increases, can you see the corners are slightly slightly prominent, you can see them. I'm going to come out with the yarn needle at those points, just so it's kind of consistent and nicely spaced out. That one's a bit loose, let's just pull the middle. Um, my next one I can see is here. Again, just keep checking you're not sewing down that um, where you left off. It's already looking good, very exciting. I love it when the when your projects start coming together and you can see that it's not just a series of stitches, it's actually something quite cute that will hopefully make somebody else happy as well. Because these, these sorts of things make good gifts um, for kids or adults, you know, anybody. They make nice decorations as well. Um, and that's really all there is to it. And it's already looking like um, a lemon slice. And you could, in fact, if you wanted to, you could leave it like that um, and just sew all your ends in at the back. And that would be quite a cute little lemon slice if you were making a kind of crochet drink or something and you wanted to put that in or even on the top of a little crochet cupcake. That would be really cute. You could even make the keep going with your um, increases and make this into a coaster. Like I've got a kind of uh, ceramic one here, but you could make one a similar size in crochet. Um, in fact, I really love that idea. <laughs> but for today, we're sticking with our slice. I'm going to put my yarn needle to one side now. And I'm going to reattach my hook into that loop, my crochet hook into that loop, and then just pull it tight. And then I've got all this excess yarn here. Like I said, I, I knew I was going to have more than needed, but it's always better to have more than, than not enough. And I'm just going to like wind it all in, and that's going to be the kind of stuffing, if you like. I'm not going to use any actual stuffing, that's just going to be the kind of padding inside the slice so that when we fold it over it's got a bit of got a bit of a chunk to it okay so do that so go ahead and fold your slice in half even if you've opted to snip all your loose tails or sew them in still get to this position then um, you're just gonna create a chain there like that and all you're going to do is you're gonna go through both sides and you're going to slip stitch like that, okay? So it can be a little bit stiff, but just push, push your yarn hook through, it will go. And slip stitch all the way down, making sure you go into both sides. So there's a single crochet on that side and on that side of, of the lemon. And this is just a really nice, effective way of getting um, a neat edge. And of closing it up, it saves you, when I find when I crochet projects, I'm always a bit annoyed when there's a lot of sewing involved because, you know, I like crocheting. I, I like sewing, but I prefer to crochet. Um, so that's why any opportunity to use a crochet method to close up a project, I will always jump at the chance rather than sewing it up. I know sometimes it's unavoidable, but that's just it. Okay. Nearly there. I'm really excited about it already. It's already looking really good. I hope you're impressed with yours too. Um, I have got a, a tutorial, if you haven't seen it already, where I do the exact same thing only for the watermelon. Um, so please check that one out if you like how this one turns out. Okay, I've reached the end now, so I'm just going to pull that loop through, grab my scissors, I'm gonna need, need a tiny amount, um, snip that off. Pull it out entirely, just grab my yarn needle again and thread that on to, this is just a really quick way of, um, and effective way of tying in your loose ends 
so it's secure as well. So I'm just going to go in there and then I'm just going to go in and out a few times just so that yarn tail is really secure because as I always say if it's going to be played with um, by children you know they really like to test test your crochet skills uh, it's going to get a lot of wear basically so you want to make sure it's really nice and secure so I'm really going for it with burying my yarn tail and I'm just going to go through once more and come out somewhere down the middle there so I know it's travelled a long way and then all I'm going to do is pull that nice and tight, snip it off, and voila! I have a really cute, and how simple was that as well, little um, lemon slice. So I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Like I said, I've got other videos, please check those out. Please like the video, please subscribe as well. It really means a lot to me. Um, you can find me on Instagram at LMLM Crochet. And if you make a little lemon slice, please use the hashtag as well, um, which is LMLM Crochet as well. And I will find and like your, um, your pictures, your projects. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.